Hello everyone. Today, we'll be looking at recent announcements regarding Intel's next-generation data center CPU, Clearwater Forest, which is currently under development. Clearwater Forest is a server CPU manufactured on Intel 18A, scheduled for release in the first half of 2026. It is the successor to the current Sierra Forest and is composed entirely of e-cores. While not suitable for supercomputers, it targets data centers and similar applications. Its main specifications were disclosed at Hot Chips 2025 in August, and it was revealed at Intel Tech Tour 2025 in October that mass production has already begun. Clearwater Forest will be introduced to the market under the brand name Xeon 6 Plus Dart. It will support Birch Stream sockets, same to Xeon 6, with a maximum of 350 watts for SP and 500 watts for AP. Currently only the AP-compatible version has been announced. It is likely that both SP and AP will support a two-socket configuration. Next, let's look at the tile configuration that characterizes Clearwater Forest. Clearwater Forest is characterized by its use of 3D packaging technology to integrate three components, the compute tile, the base tile, and the I.O. tile. The compute tile is manufactured on Intel 18A and features a 24-core configuration with six four-core clusters. The L2 cache layout has been changed from a cross shape to a linear one, and interconnects for Foveros Direct have been added. Based on the Panther Lake die schematic, a four-core cluster is approximately 8.2 mm superscript 2, and there are reports that the entire 24-core tile of Clearwater Forest is about 55 mm superscript 2, which aligns with this. The die is considered relatively small, which is expected to result in a high yield. The base tile is manufactured using the Intel 3. Four compute tiles are stacked onto it using Foveros Direct, enabling it to house 96 cores. The full chip integrates three of these stacked units, resulting in a total of 288 cores. The base tile also incorporates other critical components, including the L3 cache, the mesh fabric, and a four-channel memory controller. We will be discussing the structure of this base tile in more detail later. The I.O. tile is a component shared across all Xeon 6 processors and is manufactured on the Intel 7. Due to manufacturing costs for analog circuits, Intel 7 or similar processes will likely be adopted even for future Xeon 7 generations. This tile is horizontally connected to the base tile using EMB. Next, let's look at the announced performance outlook. The core architecture is Darkmont, a server adaptation of Skymont found in Lunar Lake. Darkmont provides a 17% improvement in integer IPC, or instructions per clock, from previous generation. Estimating from the floating point figures presented at the Lunar Lake briefing, the its IPC is projected to increase by about 42%. This suggests that an even higher performance gain can be expected, depending on the workload. Intel has stated that the engineering samples obtained so far run with 288 cores at 500 watts, and actual measurements already show up to 1.9 times the performance compared to the flagship of Sierra Forest, with a 23% improvement in efficiency. From this point, they plan to aim for further performance and efficiency gains through adjustments to the voltage frequency curve and other tuning. The flagship of Clearwater Forest is expected to feature 288 cores at 450 watts. Compared to the Xeon 6780E, the projected performance is 2.1 times higher with a 1.3 times increase in TDP, resulting in an efficiency, defined as performance per TDP, that is expected to reach 1.5 times better. Based on the real-world measurements of existing CPUs by Foronix, the hardware reviewer, and by scaling the performance projection of Clearwater Forest onto the actual performance data of Sierra Forest, it suggested that the new chip will outperform AMD's latest flagship, the EPYC9965, by 22% in performance and achieve a 38% lead in power efficiency. Furthermore, an even greater gain is anticipated for workloads involving heavy floating-point operations. The upcoming Zen 6 generation, codenamed Venice, will be manufactured on the TSMC N2. Venice is expected to increase its core count and will be supported by a new socket accommodating 700 to 1400 watts, complete with a liquid cooling system. Venice will offer up to a 1.7 times performance increase over its predecessor. This would also place it 40% ahead of Clearwater Forest. Currently, there is no data available regarding its power efficiency. Next, let's discuss bus performance. 
Clearwater Forest supports 12 channels of DVR5-8000 memory per socket, achieving a very high bandwidth of a theoretical 650 gigabytes per SEC per socket and a total of 24 channels and 1,300 gigabytes per SEC for a two-socket configuration. It also achieves a theoretical 576 gigabytes per SEC in NUMA bandwidth, including inter-socket bottleneck. According to a report by Chips and Cheese, this theoretical value is very high compared to actual performances of Amazon Graviton 4 and AMD EPYC9754. This raises expectations for its actual performance. Next, let's look at the features of the base tile. The base tile's area is estimated at around 360 square millimeters from the images, about 60% the size of the compute tiles in Granite Rapids and Sierra Forest. This smaller footprint will likely improve the manufacturing yield, ensuring it remains viable even with the added complexity of Fovero's Direct 3D packaging. Fovero's Direct, a CUCU bonding similar to SOIC enabling V-Cache, is used for the compute tile and base tile, where the L3 cache and fabric are located. This confirms a prediction made in a previous video. In the future, 3D stacking will become inevitable due to the difficulty of shrinking caches with the latest processes. Moreover, adopting a two-story structure, thereby reducing the area viewed from above, will shorten the fabric's path length, which will also lead to a reduction in L3 intercommunication latency. This allows for a maximum of 576 megabytes of cache, 2 megabytes per core, which is about six times larger than Sierra Forest's 108 megabytes, 0.75 megabytes per core, and 2.67 times larger per core. This even surpasses Granite Rapids' maximum of 504 megabytes. While the L2 cache bandwidth is 200 gigabytes per second, the L3 cache appears significantly slower at 35 gigabytes per second. According to Chips and Cheese, Aero Lake Skymont has a measured effective L3 bandwidth of 80 gigabytes per second, so this 35 gigabytes per second figure is estimated to be the effective bandwidth in a huge server-grade mesh fabric. In any case, L3 is heavy, so the L2 cache hit rate becomes very important. In Lunar Lake, many efforts were made to improve the cache hit rate, resulting in a structure similar to Zen with the guidance of Jim Keller. L3 at 35 gigabytes per second corresponds to 8.6 gigabytes per second per core. Compared to the theoretical maximum for memory access, this isn't very fast, but it will help avoid various small bottlenecks. Unconfirmed information regarding Nova Lake S suggests the possibility of stacking two compute tiles, hinting at the potential for 3D cache. However, Alika denies this possibility, but the future is unknown. Finally, a summary. Clearwater Forest possesses the potential to secure data center CPU market leadership, boasting performance that overwhelms generations preceding Zen 5 and achieving power efficiency competitive even with Zen 6. The omission of AVX512 means it will see reduced utility for general purpose supercomputing. However, its design is optimized to deliver peak performance in areas like networking infrastructure. Sapphire Rapids came out after Genoa, yet it was soundly defeated. Then came Sierra Forest, Intel finally caught up to Genoa, but only for six months before Turin took the lead again. Granite Rapids followed, but its reign lasted barely one week before AMD surged ahead. Now, with Clearwater Forest, Intel finally breaks through. For the first time in years, it holds a solid six-month lead over AMD. The competition is no longer one-sided. Intel is back in the game. AMD is accelerating its process adoption cycle. With Zen 4 and N5, they had the luxury of waiting two years, enjoying a strong lead over Intel. Now, the pace is urgent. Zen 5 server-based Turin Dense is an early adopter of N3e, and Zen 6 is lined up to be a near-launch partner for N2. This shift highlights a new necessity, taking on the risk and cost of the bleeding edge to compete, as it was apparent that N3e alone would not suffice against Intel's Clearwater Forest.